Hello there. Me again. Less beardy this time. But here I am. I didn't expect to do another one so soon after doing the last. But I was thinking about last night doing one on something very near and dear to my heart. And then I was watching a documentary earlier that I took as a sign. So I'm going to do it just for the hell of it. The impetus of it was I was watching the Necessary Evil documentary that DC Comics just put out about all the villains, which is awesome, by the way. And uh, at one point they interviewed CM Punk, who's an avowed comics fan, so it doesn't really shock me, but he's also a wrestler, and lots of people are very... I realize lots of people are very closed-minded about pro wrestling, and they just have this attitude of disdain, just utter disdain towards it. For no apparent reason, as far as I can tell. Now, many close to me don't even know how much I fucking love wrestling. Because oftentimes when you talk about it, the immediate response is either, Oh, that's gay. Which, fuck you, you homophobic douchebag. Or, something to the effect of it's fake. Which is true and not because in fairness I mean they do do intense damage to their bodies in the name of entertaining you so it's not fake it's predetermined and there's a story they're trying to tell but that doesn't make it fake and that's I mean every movie you've ever seen except for documentaries obviously but like every TV show Breaking Bad's fake it's phenomenal why can't wrestling be treated in the same way it's it honestly boggles my mind because genuinely at its best and it's not always like this I freely admit that but at its best it's some of the most captivating entertainment you will come across like when you have two really great storytellers and that's what they are telling a story beautifully it's no different than like Scorsese and De Niro telling you a story in, like, Taxi Driver. It's exactly the same. It's just in a different form. There's something... I don't personally get it. I mean, in the end, I, I guess if you like it, you're gonna like it. If you know it, you don't. When I first got into it, I mean, I got into it as a child, but when I got into it as, like, a teenager, it was just, like, it was when it was cool, but at the same time... Whenever I get into something, I am not normal, so I tend to obsess. And so, at first I just watched, like, WWF. And then from there, started watching WCW, ECW, everything. Independent, Japanese, Mexican, like, everything I could possibly find. Because I just, it's like, it's an addiction. To me, art is an addiction, and that's, wrestling is art. As much as comics are art, as much as movies are art music is art like in the end anything that like i like just focus and that's what i did with wrestling and it's i mean there was a time when it went away and the reason that i came back and the reason i'm mentioning it today is because of cm punk who literally i had lost interest in wrestling after wf bought all basically all our major competition and the product kind of went to hell and it was hearing about on the independent scene that there was a straight edge wrestler and I was just like I'm straight edge there's a straight edge wrestler that's fucking amazing and it was when he was in Ring of Honor and it led to me looking up like all of his work and getting really into it so when he went to WWF I simply went with or WWE I'm sorry I simply went with him followed him there they didn't bring me back and if they had fired him at any point I would have just gone right with him back to wherever he went he's that damn good and if you ever want to get into modern wrestling, CM Punk is really a great way to do it because whether he's playing a good guy or a bad guy, he owns the audience. He owns you. And you can't help but love... I mean, Christ, he... In John Cena's hometown or home area of Boston, he showed up and in Yankee pinstripe gear and still got... A huge fucking pop from people that's how fucking good he is and I mean there's more than just I mean if you look up on YouTube like stuff with punk I mean stuff with uh, Brian Danielson slash Daniel Bryan um, Seth Rollins aka Tyler Black 
um, Dean Ambrose, aka John Moxley, um, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Ricky Steamboat, Randy Savage. Like you can go through, and there's, I mean, there's some people who are fucking terrible but are really popular. But there's also like people who can put on a match that like will get past. It's just like the same way a great movie can get past your sense of disbelief. These people can make you believe what's going on, if even for just a second, that it's really happening and it's really going on. And that, to me, is beautiful. That's the whole point of art, like, to transport you into a different world, even just for a second. Like, it's very rare that I can watch a movie, watch a match, listen to music, read a comic book, without, like, picking it apart, just because that's the way my brain works. It's, I'm just super analytical. But the times that I can actually fall under the spell, and even for, like, just a couple of seconds, just have fun in the middle of the story that I'm enjoying, that, to me, is the greatest feeling in the world. And you can get that from wrestling as much as you can get it from anything else. And I don't know why more people don't seem to appreciate that. There's probably, I mean... There's probably people watching this that think I'm full of shit and I'll never change their minds, and that's fine. Honestly, that's fine with me. But if you give it a shot, you might get hooked too, and it might be something that you're into. I mean, it's, they're coming back to Civic Center, because I live in Glens Falls. Coming back in January. I mean, go check it out. See if you like it. I mean, if you don't, that's fine. I'm not telling you you have to do anything you don't want to do, but I feel like even though the society we currently live in, like, there's so much at any given time that you can be, like, you can look into for entertainment, that it's, like, makes it almost so you don't want to look at things. It's pretty because you don't want to even take one second away from other things. It just, it is one thing that I feel like a lot of people that don't like it could if they actually, not for lack of a better term, just pulled their head out of their ass and gave it a shot. That's really all you need for anything, is just to give it a shot.